Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Martina and I'm here with my very first swap journal which I made for a wonderful artist named Sarah. Have a look. This is doilies all over on the outside. This is a vintage button just to pretend the closure but the closure is made from push buttons and when I open it, it opens to a blast of red and gold and whatsoever. So if you want to see the journey it took, the challenges it had for me, please stay tuned and watch the making of. It is a making of video of a, I think, relatively complex process and I do my very best to explain it and I hope it will work out the way I want it. Because, and this is the most important thing, this journal is not for sale, it's not for me, it's a swap journal. And I'm so happy that I can do my very, very first swap with a wonderful um, junk journal artist. Her name is Sarah and she does the most amazing journals you can imagine and I'm full of admiration of her work. And I was so happy when she um, came up with the idea that we can make a swap. So I have linked her um, contact details in, in, the, in the video so that you can reach out to her and, and have a look what, uh, about all the wonderful things she is doing. But now I'm here with this um, task and yeah, honor, honorable task to make a journal for her. I know <clears throat> that she liked a lab book style journal. One some some months ago I did a laptop style journal and she was very positive about that. So I thought maybe I can do a similar one for her and maybe I can do it a little bit smaller because the other one was really, really huge. So I do a small one, I do a miniature one, so to say, and I have already started with some preparation. What I also need to know or what you also need to know is that the process I'm going to do is based on a tutorial which I have found on YouTube and I'm going to link it for you as well um, where I got the uh, the inspiration from. So of course I have adapted a little bit, changed a little bit here, changed a little bit there but overall there's also a very good explanation about the whole process and it's a video which is much longer than mine will be. And what I'm also going to do is I will film uh, sev sev several sequences and will cut them together in one film so that you can have it all together. Okay, so what have I done so far? Everything started with, guess what, a doily. I have this long doily. It's a table, kind of a table runner. And I had been gifted some years ago... Um, this thing, which is vintage. It has pearls, it has some, call it diamonds. I don't know what it is, to be honest. I have no clue what it was meant for, but the good thing is that it almost fits the the width of this uh, doily and it has here some holes and I'm intending to um, adapt, adapt, attach um, a trim in these holes so that this can be the closure of the lab book journal. Okay, but how to construct it? So, first of all, and sorry for, you see, you see I have sewn on the, the, the trim and I have already made some marks over here and I have also, as I mentioned recently, I have also done a kind of a trial um, when gluing fabric because I would like to learn how it how it behaves and this will be of course cut so that it does not fly. but you don't see it anyway so lab book lab book is different than journal uh, lab book means things come together like like this and then you open it and then you have something um, the body of this lab book is being formed by two, um, you can call it serial, serial packages or in that case I have used one 
couscous <laughs> packaging and one cereal packaging. So they will be attached to the doily, to the table runner, like this. So this will be finally glued on like that. And there will be something happening in between. You have to imagine when you open the lab book, it will look like this. or It will rather look like that because it will go a little bit above here. And then it will be closed with this whatever trim it is. So like this. Then it's glued here. We we'll leave a little bit of room, and this, these are the the marks which I have um, already made, so that I know where about these two things should be glued on. You see, I don't know whether you can see, but I can show you. Maybe you see also the other marks. Got stuck here. <laughs> Maybe you can also see the other marks. So I have made two marks on each side. And the marks, which are more uh, in the middle, they are a mark for the spine. Because, of course, this um, lab book also needs to have a spine. And I have already started to work on the spine. And this is it. So I have cut it six and a half centimeter, which is maybe 2.8, I don't know, 2.8 uh, inches. And you see it will probably will be about here. Then as usual, and as I have explained in my other video, um, in order to attach the spine, I, I'm using some fabric, which will be glued on this um, doily at one point in time, not now. This spine is will not will not carry a, a book. It will be just there for decoration purposes and to give some structure to the whole thing, to give some to hold it together. And it will be further decorated. I have an idea, I have not yet completed it. So, but I have worked on some other things. As I said, this will be glued on like that. And where is the other one? It's gone. And this will be glued on like this. And later, not now. <laughs> this is very important to know that when you do this kind of a lab book, at least this is how I do it, the few times I did it, I prepare almost everything before I start to glue because if you do a gluing mistake, um, not good, not good. I have prepared a lot of things. So I'm going to prepare a lot of things. And then before I make the final um, montage, montage, I will think about how what is the best um, order. And I will let you know because we, we learn together, <laughs> so to say. Okay, so this is it. And then, of course, it is important to... Because when you open this book like that, you will have the first view here. And I have already prepared some decoration for the outside. And this will be this, and this will be that. So it looks nice. And I have also started to prepare the um, decoration for the inside. So when we open this one, and you see I have noted down what I plan to do because this is important for me because otherwise I will, will get lost probably. So this is here. Then I have already cut to size and also backed um, some uh, design paper which will be glued here. And as usual, important, you have to leave or you should leave a little bit of space here so that you can easily turn it and flip it. Then there will be another decoration over there. Here in the middle I will attach a little booklet, a little journal, 
which will be removable because um, of some other things I'm planning to do. It is important that you can take this out. So I will make probably two holes there and then uh, bind the, the journal into that. You will see when we come to this point. So I have also prepared the, the cover for this inside here. Looks like that. I have worked on the inside for that one. Let's see, it should fit. So it's like this. And that's it so far. Not yet. I have already thought about how to come up with some ideas for the inside, not only the decoration, but some ideas. So there will be a trifold sitting there, um, flippable like this. So it will be, I will attach some fabric over here and I will glue it on here. And I will show you once this is done so that it can be opened like this and there will be something inside. I don't know yet what, but there will be something to play with inside. Here there comes a book, as I said, a removable book. There is some openings, some gates. This is just decoration. And here, this is a, how do you say, a, a pocket for a, for a bigger book. And for this bigger book, I have some special ideas, which I'm currently working on. And I will show you in the next film or in one of the next films that I'm planning to do, or films, sequences, steps, whatsoever. That's it so far. I hope you could follow. It's a little bit complicated, but let me know if you like it or if you don't like it. So I would like to show you what I did in the meantime. I was quite active. What I did is I was working mainly, not exclusively, but mainly on the, um, the pocket, which comes on the right hand side of the lab book. And I'm going to show you towards the end of this video sequence, how it should look like. What I did is I had covered the outside with this really, really pretty fabric, as well as this part here. You see, this is, <laughs> this is the initial um, serial package. I have covered the, the bottom. I have also covered the inside with cardstock. So it's quite steady because, uh, sturdy, because it should uh, and it will carry the book, the journal, which can be taken out and, and used separately. And I've also worked on that. And my idea is the following. I would like to make this kind of a, using an old book, and this book comes from 1905 or something like this, um, and make this kind of a flip out as I had already done several times, because I know that Sarah likes this way of presenting a book. So this is what I'm planning to do. And then recently, when I was hunting for my push buttons, which I used on my previous uh, journal, I came across this really, really pretty fabric in this wonderful small shop, sewing shop. And this fabric is really gorgeous. It, it shows a bookshelf and the, the titles of the book are there in, in, in kind of gold. So it's, it's perfect. So I have used some cardstock as the body for this book. Um, I don't like this uh, design, therefore I used it. I have attached the uh, inside spine cover and um, because I will sew the book on through the through this uh, spine here and this will be the outside and of course uh, the respective backside as well which I haven't with me right now and this will be flipped on uh, attached so that it can be flipped out like this and something will be inside and this all sits here in this one. I love the red. I love the stones. I love how it, uh, um, the gold elements. So I think it's really, really nice. Okay. But what else did I do? I did something more because I realized, and you remember that I have, that I plan to uh, cover the whole book with this longer table runner, doily, brocade doily, however you call it. 
But I realize that um, as the inside cover of this doily is was only sewn on the edges, it would have been, you could have taken it like this. And if I glue something which is relatively heavy on here, then it would probably fall out. So what I did is, and maybe you can see, I made some, I was sewing around, I made some, some wild sewing, and these are some, I don't know what, some sewing um, so that I could attach the, um, the outside cover to the inside cover. And I have used <laughs> red thread on the inside and um, light thread on the outside, so that it's relatively invisible. But, you know, a creative process is creative because you can make changes, you don't plan. And what I realized just this morning is that I'm not going to use this one as the closure. Um, I think it's a little bit too pale, at least for my taste right now. And uh, therefore I have uh, rearranged and rethought and I will do the following. I will take this off because it's hand sewn on so I can take it off easily. I will then sew on this pretty brocade trim which you probably if you have seen my other videos if which you might have seen in my other videos then it would go like this and as an additional uh, decoration I add another doily which then when you turn it like this you would see on the edges here. And I think this looks really pretty and I will close this um, with push buttons and make some additional decoration on the front size, side. So this is the plan and um, let's see if I stick to it, but this is what I plan currently. Okay, now I show you how it should look right now. So this is the one, you see the marks over here. This is the spine, which will be glued on here, further decorated. This one comes here. And this is also part of the process. When I do this, I always uh, uh, present it like this. And then I think, what's about the colors? Do they match? Do I like it? Would I like to change it? Whatever. Um, and therefore, it takes some time. So this is the other cereal, not cereal, couscous. Um, package or couscous box which I'm going to use and it will be glued on like this. I have done the inside covers. I have a flip out. The flip out will be glued here. This will be the, the cover there. Here I'm going to attach a removable um, journal and I have already started to work on it and I am using this really pretty wallpaper and I'm using this same fabric like here because I love how it flows so it's it looks like this and so that's it so far and the outside is covered with this one so here will be some further decoration I have already an idea but not yet realized it so, and this is it. This is how it looks. And it will be, as I said, it will be closed here like this. Like this. So, this is the plan. What you can see here is, as I mentioned in the last sequence, is that I have removed the, the trim and I have replaced it by this uh, brocade trim which I have already used in, a, in another journal but I love it so much and it's really really gorgeous and pretty and I've also added another doily just for decoration purposes so that it looks a little bit more rich and and decorated so this is the the cover but this was not all what I have done I have done more and this is what I'm going to show you and we are going to focus now on the left side of the lab book and the left side of the lab book, as you can probably remember, will be attached like this. So when you open it, you see this is the first glance. So this is the cover, which still needs to be glued on. Um, this is the body. 
and I have already worked on the body and I show you my plans for the whole section. So I have worked on a trifold and this trifold of course has three parts and I have glued it on here and for, for gluing it on I have used some fabric and I have um, looked for a fabric which matches the design of this um, paper, design paper or digital paper which I have used. So I show you. It will be looking like this and then there is a pocket here, there is a pocket there and then there is some flip outs and some further decoration still to be decided. But as I said it's glued on like this and as usual you have to make sure that you leave some room for uh, flexibility. It's being closed with a bow and I just let me just close it quickly so that it's not in, in the way. So and here there will be the, the cover page, the decorative cover of this inside and there will be some further flip outs which I have already prepared and glued on. So it will look like this. So this is a window flip out and then you can do it like that. And there's the last one and there is also a pocket. So this still needs to be glued on. Here as mentioned there will be a, a removable journal, small journal, which I have also worked on. Do you have seen it? I think last in the last sequence already. So this is the cover. It will be once the, uh, the signature, this will be a one signature journal. Once the papers are being um, sewn in, you can easily attach it to this lab book, lab book by this bow. And so it would be like this. And in order to make sure that it works the way I want to work it, to work it, I have already, when I glued in the the um, spine, I have made sure to have behind the spine to glue on this string or this trim or the border or whatever you call it, so that it can be fastened once it's done. Okay, there's still something to be put on the right hand side of the left side of this lab book and this is what I'm planning to do. First of all, and this is what you have seen already, this is the decorative cover which I have backed with cardstock in order to give it really strength. And then there will be these, I call them gates and it will look like this. So and this one. I show you in a second how I did it. So this will be then glued, uh, glued, uh, closed with a, a with a trim which goes around with a thread which goes around here like this turn 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 thing, and then you can open it like this, and open it like that. How I did it? Well, of course you have to to measure it and you have to cut it, and um, but what is also important because there will something behind it so it covers some content, whatever it may be, I have not yet decided. Um, you have to make sure that you, when you fold it, you leave a little bit of room because then you have enough space to put something behind it. And this is also the reason why I keep this journal mobile or removable, because if I had sewn it in, um, it would be difficult to write in or to do whatever because then you interfere with this construction over there. So. This is like this, whoops, of course it needs to be glued on and then this is like that. So this is all for today. Let me show you what I did in the meantime. I was quite active and I'm yeah, quite advanced. So first of all what I did is I have decorated the spine in, from the inside. Um, Miraculously, I found in my stash this really pretty border, which perfectly fits not only the color of this velvet, of this inside velvet, 
but also it has exactly the right width. So it needed to go on this um, journal. And the way I did it is I glued it on and I have turned the edges on the um, upper and on the low lower side so that it, it does not fray. So that's this one. I'm quite happy with this. And then I started to sew on the push buttons, but I had to stop because I, I did it wrong. So I have to start all over again, but that's not an issue. I also worked on the left side of the journal and it's finished. It's finished in a way that it's almost completely decorated. And it, of course, finally needs to be glued on. And this is the side um, which will be glued on here. And of course, it doesn't need any decoration because it will be glued. So, glued down. Let me show you. I have uh, attached this one. It needs to be uh, decorated, so there need to be some things need to go into the, the, the pockets, the different pockets and so on. I have also finalized the, the journal, which comes inside. And as you might remember, I said it will be a removable journal and therefore I have attached it with this bow. And of course, you can see I still need to cut the threads here which I'll do as a very last thing because there might be occasions when I need to rearrange something and I will tell you in a second that this happened, not on this journal, but on the other. Then what I also did is I have attached this bow, but what you can see is that this bow does not um, put together the outer sides, outer pages, but it only starts on the inside and this was a mistake because I was too quick sewing on the the decoration from the inside cover. So um, I decided to do it like this and to cover the the the, the where the thread or the, the trim I covered is it with washi tape and this washi tape is I think really perfect because it matches nicely. So I did the same here and this is one of the things when doing a journal you make a mistake but then you find out oh it's not that bad, it's even nice. And this is what I decided and therefore it stays like that. So this is this one. It will be reattached later. And then of course I have also glued on this gate thing. Now it's like this. There's already something inside and it just needs this thread to close it. So this is almost done. Then I also worked on the bigger journal and the bigger journal will be in this on the right side and it will sit in this pocket here. So then you might remember I mentioned that I wanted to attach the, the old book to the cover and I have done this by gluing this on and I think probably you have seen this already. So this is this. It will be uh, closed like this so that it doesn't flip out. And what else? Yeah, something which I found out because you might remember when looking at the, the cover of this old book that this part here was really silver. And for my taste, it was too silver. Therefore, I added a little bit of gilding wax around it so that it's more gold so it has more this gold tone and doing so what I found and this is really something I wanted to share and I come very close this oops I'm this journal belonged to a little girl apparently and here there is the name of this girl Anna something apparently she has written down her name here and also the dedication inside this book came from, their, from her parents and they said to my beloved daughter Anna. And I was really touched when I found that she has written her name here. Okay, and in such a nice handwriting. Okay, just as a sidestep. What I found out when working on this final cover 
oh, in this final journal and I have started to attach the pages and uh, so and so and then of course the outer cover will need to be glued on as well as the spine here and then I found out that it's probably too thick because and this is something which I should have known but I couldn't avoid um, when making a lab book journal you are restricted by the design in terms of how much you can put in inside and especially when you have a pocket like this one where you have the outside dimensions given you cannot go with an alligator mouth it's not possible otherwise you might make damage on this one and I wouldn't do that so this journal like it stands right now would just fit into this pocket but I have not done any decoration so there is no tag inside there is nothing inside and of course I would like to do that so what I'm going to do and lucky me I have not completely um, attached or finally attached the, this, the, the signatures in a way that I cannot um, redo them I have to take it off take off here the, the, the threads the, the signature the binding and take off some of the pages uh, so I'd rather have fewer pages but more decoration than more pages and less decoration and then I will see how far I can go in terms of still fitting it into this pocket so I think that's so far everything I could do I will um, come back to you with the final result with a short overview Ta -da! it's finished it's done it's completed have a look that's the outside I had sewn on three push buttons and this vintage button as a further decoration it shows a crown and an N whatever this means no idea but let me show you how it looks from the inside so isn't this lovely <laughs> okay here I have glued I have glued on the parts the two parts you see it's like this you can open it this is the removable journal this is the turn 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 thing this is the the booklet which I fitted in here now I have taken out not too many pages I took out I think in total four pages and what I did is I have rounded the spine a little bit so it that that it becomes more um, squishy <laughs> so that's it and that's all I want to say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the process let me know if you have questions leave a comment leave a thumbs up subscribe you are all invited Thank you very much. Bye-bye, Martina.